Hey guys, this is Sargraft and welcome back to another Breath of the Wild tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to show you how to get Link's signature look that we've seen in all the promotional material. Uh, so we have it all here. Uh, we have the Traveler's Shield, the Soldier's Broadsword and the Traveler's Bow. As well as the uh, Champion's Shirk and Hyrulean Trousers or Hyrulean Trousers. Um, so there we go, Soldier's Broadsword, 14 damage. Uh, with the Traveler's Bow, 5 damage. Uh, Ancient Arrows if you want them because uh, we have seen them in quite a few of the uh, promotional material, the Traveler's Shield, and finally the Champion's Tunic and the Hylian Trousers, sorry. Uh, so we've obviously seen this look in a lot of places, I'm just going to show you where to get every single uh, item on here. So first stop is the bow, uh, the Traveler's Bow, uh, and this is uh, pretty simple, you can just glide off here. Uh, from the Shrine of Resurrection, and you see that we have a Traveler's Bow here. This will respawn after ev every uh, Blood Moon, so you might have to wait for one of those uh, in order to get it. Uh, the next one is right over near the Jar Baid Shrine, which is the Soldier's Broadsword. Um, so if you hop over here, it's on one of the pillars uh, next to it. And then the final one, which is the shield, is not, I don't know, it probably is on the Great Plateau somewhere. I just don't know where it is. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, but if you want to leave a comment saying where it is, it's greatly appreciated. But we don't know where it is, so we'll have to leave that. Uh, but we're here now, um, and it should be just behind the shrine. Uh, so here we are. And if we go up the back here up onto uh, this pillar right here uh, we can see the soldier's broadsword sticking out from the top uh, so then while I'm going to get the shield I'm gonna show you uh, the two places you can get the uh, champion shield and the Hylian trousers uh, so you can get the uh, Hylian trousers from a place on the Great Plateau uh, there is a chest near the Temple of Time you'll be seeing it right now um, and yeah and then the champion's tunic, I'm pretty sure most people know this by now. Uh, you get it from Impa after you, you get one memory uh, of Zelda recollected. So I think probably the easiest one to get is the one in the Sacred Ground Ruins right in front of Hyrule Castle. That's also the first memory. So it kind of like goes along with it. So I mean, that, that's, I think that's probably one of the easiest ones to get. Uh, so we're now at this shrine here, which is the Kamiya Attack Shrine. Uh, which is where the shield is going to be located. Uh, you just have to hop over the Gleok Bridge, I believe it's called. Alright, so here we are. This is the uh, monster camp uh, that you are going to have to uh, go to. Uh, and we see here we have a traveling sword and a shield. The shield is there so you can just run in, run back out, uh, and you should be fine. As long as you get away quick enough, then they shouldn't be able to follow you. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's how to get uh, all the equipment for Link's. I don't know how much dodge that then. Uh, for Link's signature look, uh, it's, it's a nice way to you know, like, run around the world just so you, you can you know, relive the great moments of the trailers when we first got them at E3 and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically where everything is. There's probably a Traveler's Shield somewhere on the Great Plateau, but obviously I don't know where it is. That's the easiest one to get to. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little tips and tricks video. Um, I, I personally made this because I had no idea where to find them and I really wanted to find them. So I don't know whether you'll want to find them as well, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>